Hey guys, me again with another YouTube video. Today we, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened there. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new model. This is the M1 Garand. As you can tell, this is a very popular World War II rifle that was carried by almost uh, every G-Guy soldier that I can think of. Like every branch has used the M1 Garand at some point in time um, for various different things there's a whole lot of different stuff that you can do with an m1 grand honestly but this is my model give me one moment needed to answer that um in terms of this m1 grand uh not too much going on um and most of it i'm going to be 100 percent honest with you guys is actually m14 um pretty much from here back almost all m14 um from there up i've made more resemble the actual m1 grand but you got to remember that the m1 grand led to the development of the m14 um there's this weird post-war era where we took a whole bunch of m1 grands and we were trying to um, attach them with detachable magazines to make the m14 essentially um it, it's always hard to take a rifle that was designed for one thing and then convert it to something else. So because we couldn't just convert M1 Garands to box-fed uh, magazine weapons, we decided to then develop the M14. It's got basically the exact same feature set as the M1 Garand, except it takes removable box magazines. Which is why when I was developing this, the M1 Garand, I decided to just take the M14 and convert it so that it looks more like an appropriate M1 Garand, which is what you have in front of you. Alrighty then. So we can go ahead and take a look at this inside of LDD, instead of Studio. This is what we have going on. Pretty basic stuff. The rear end, like I said, is all basically M14, so there's not too much to go over, but we do have a four stud wide stock into a five stud wide four stock. We have the mag well um, of the M1 Grand here. Uh, it's an internal magazine, not an external, so you can see it's here. Trigger, trigger guard, basic stuff. Bolt and charging handle here. You can actually see that this is all exposed on the inside. So you could load this if you wanted to. Four stud wide upper hand guard here. Four stud wide barrel band with sling loop. Four stud wide front handguard here. Four stud wide, oh, I don't know why these two pieces are missing. Whoopsies, forgot to fill those in. Four stud wide barrel band up here. And then we have the barrel followed by the gas block below that with the front sight. All pretty basic stuff, not uh, too out of the ordinary. Um, just like I said, I just wanted to take the M14 and converted into the M1 Grand. A very basic conversion, not too difficult to do. Gets the point across, it is an M1 Grand, and now I can do a couple other things if I wanted to. Obviously, I could do the M1 Grand sniping variant if you wanted to, the one with the scope that is built to go like right here. Um, we could do uh, the one with the scope that's on the offset. We could do the grenade launching one, the um, experimental box fed magazine ones you know we could do a whole lot I just kind of wanted to get the M1 Grand out of the way the, it's one of those models that almost every Lego gun builder has underneath their belt and for some reason I didn't have my own even though I had basically all of it built already um, in the form of an M14 so thank you guys so much for watching remember to comment and subscribe for more videos similar to this one I'll see you guys later in another YouTube video another time don't be afraid if you want to see some behind the scenes stuff to check out my discord if you need a link to join the discord just ask in the comment section down below and i will send you guys a link to join thanks for watching